Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. I'm just loving the chat here. It's fantastic, and we're going to talk a lot. We have so much to cover. Anyway, Thursday, April 4th, duh, 2024. All right, look, um, very interesting day here on, on Wall Street, and uh, we do have to talk. But let's let's start off with uh, just, just some more of the loveliness that we all have to deal with here. So let me see. How many of you? How many of you, I don't even think it's going to be one, is surprised to find out that the trade gap, uh, well, it widens again. We are in, well, according to Donald Trump, a uh, an economic cesspool. The man nailed it. I mean, I think that's almost the perfect way to put this here. But he left a lot out. And I want to talk more about that. So hold the cesspool things for a while here. Um, anyway, it, it's, it is encouraging to hear this type of thing, but it's always the same when you, you have, you know, this, uh, it doesn't matter if it's Trump running against whoever or whoever, you know, go back as far as you want to go. They all blame each other for the economic disaster area. But again, hold that thought. So again, we got, uh, another <laughs> piece of information that confirms that what we already know and then this thing is a disaster area, and it's uh, it's only going to get worse from here, and I mean monumentally worse from here. And as we move forward here, even into 2025, no matter who is selected as the creature to sit behind the resolute desk, there's a whole other set of dynamics that are now in play, and we need to talk about. Maybe we'll. I was, you know, we need to talk about this, so we might as well do it now. But anyway, with regard to this market today, did you watch it? Probably. Okay. We we had uh, earlier today the stock market was higher. Everyone was happy, <laughs> loving life, and then all of a sudden, this thing happened. Anybody recognize this creature? <gasps> yes. Yes. Him. This guy, Neil Cash and Carry. He came out today and. He made a few statements that the market didn't like very much. You trust this guy? Look at those eyes. What do you think about these eyeballs? You like that? These are the eyeballs of a psychopath. You know, he used to work at Goldman Sachs. Yeah, he was a president at Goldman. Imagine my shock, really. And then he becomes a Fed president. How does that work? Oh, my goodness, really. Anyway, so this guy, this, don't forget that. All right. This is what he had to say. And this is a nice headline. This is what rocked the market today, why stocks fell. Uh, he expects uh, two rate cuts issues, but maybe there'll be none. You see, look, this is a game they're playing. And let me tell you something about this game here. When, when this creature made this statement, see that? Yeah. All right. When he made that statement, um, an interesting phenomenon happened here. The debt market pretty much dead stable. As a matter of fact, the 10-year yield dropped. The dollar didn't do anything, but stocks did fullness under some pressure. What are we talking about here? We're talking about a 1.35% drop for the Dow, about the same for the other uh, averages as well. Nothing major at all. But you see, people get rattled on the back of something like this because we're not used to it. All we see every day is higher, higher, it's higher stock market, higher. That's right. It's me, Janet. I'm in China right now, and I'm going to get a haircut. Who knows what's going on over there? Okay. But but anyway, um, <laughs> so, so, so nothing really going on. The debt market ain't buying it. Certainly the currency market ain't buying it. And I'm here to tell you yet again, look. In an extreme scenario, let's put, I like to look at things in an extreme. Okay, let's, let's look at an extreme situation here. I still believe firmly the Fed is going to start cutting in June. In an extreme situation, okay, July maybe. But you have, you have to understand what's going on. This is another way or the prime way right now, other than war, expanding war and everything else, that here in, in this case, we're talking about the Federal Reserve, can inflate even further. Again, tell Greg, Ma now let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation with Neil. Neil, buddy, you and I are going to talk. Yeah, yeah. Look at me like that in real life. You see what happens to you, buddy. You see, you see what, we, what I'll, I'll headbutt you. All right, anyway, um, 
So Neil, tell us all again here, because I, we need to know, how does a central bank, uh, how does it cut rates? Well, Greg, let me tell you what we're going to do. You see, Greg, we are going to print epic sums of cash out of thin air. We're going to add it to a digital screen. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. And then, Greg, what we're going to do after that is we're going to buy all the debt. Really? Oh, thank you for telling us. That's what you're going to do. Oh, so uh, so tell us, uh, uh, Mr. Cash and Carry, uh, is is this when, when when a central bank, let's just say the Federal Reserve in this case, when it creates cash out of epic sums of cash, which would be required to keep rates suppressed here? Tell us, sir, thing, creature. Uh, I hope you don't mind that I'm addressing you like that. You don't seem to, uh, because you know it's true, isn't it? Uh, t tell us, is that massively inflationary? Well, Greg, you see, if I told you the truth, uh, if you might not like it. What do you mean I won't like it? Are you, you mean it, it's, it is inflationary? Well, Greg, if a central bank is going to print cash out of thin air uh, to buy debt, yes, Greg, I will admit to you that it is inflationary. But please don't tell anyone that that's, that, that's, the, that's the way it works because, you see, they're not supposed to know. All right, Neil, we're going to keep it a secret between the two of us. You get what I'm talking about, people? I mean, come on, man. You know, you all you get this stuff. Now, oh, I forgot to say, oh, uh, jobless here. This is another lovely piece of info. On top of the trade deficit, we got this too. What do you think? Lovely, surprising, shocking? How about no? Um and uh, and anyway, so so now let's let us move forward here, just 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 a little bit here. So you're watching crude oil, bang bang bang, higher. Gold and silver had an incredible run as of late. Today we were about flat. Cryptocurrencies getting bit up. Um, that, that's the story. But but let's talk about this. Let's talk about Biden says the U.S. economy is the world's best. It's the best in the world. And Trump says it's a cesspool. Uh, and the data is clear. Uh, you see, the, the, the data is clear, at least to you and I. It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare unfolding before every single one of us. But again, uh, no surprise to anyone that follows this blog. All of you have been so far ahead of the curve on this. Neil doesn't like it very much, but that's besides the point. Uh, we don't care about what Neil likes and doesn't like, honestly. I, don't, I, don't, I know I don't. In fact, Neil is going in the garbage right now. Yes, Neil, because that's where you belong anyway. So let's talk about this whole this whole cesspool thing. Uh, I, I think it was a very descriptive word, um, and I, I think it uh, Trump kind of nailed it there. But you see, here's what's going to here's what's already happening. In case you don't know, all right. And I'm going to urge you guys to do your own research on this. Donald Trump right now is doing what he unfortunately has to do um, if he wants to be selected as president. Okay. He's on his knees before the wall street bigwigs right now, again. Uh, and he's promising the wall street fat cats that, um, they're going to get fatter during his, what do you think he's saying to these guys? Okay. He's going to wall street as they all must do. Okay. Uh, you think he's promising them, uh, anything bad or is he promising that they're going to be more profitable? And is he promising more easy money? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. Uh, unfortunately, that is the case. But, you know, look, that's <laughs> – this is the way it is, people. And I'm not picking on him for this because I've just said they all do it. They all have to go to the Wall Street elite, you know, get on their hands and knees, make them every promise under the sun, and then some. Um, you know, it's just, it's an unfortunate situation, but, but what's missing here from the conversation with, with Biden saying we're the envy of the world, which makes me want to vomit all over the, all over the floor is number one, it's not just the United States. That's an economic cesspool. You see, because that's what you're supposed to think, um, think inside the box, inside the box. No, you should be thinking outside the box. Trump should be telling everyone that the world today economy is an economic cesspool. And if the world is an economic cesspool, how is that happening? Who's the driving? Who controls the economy? Who controls the financial system? Who controls the markets? 
Who dictates everything to us? Well, it's the central banks. And that's going to be absolutely devoid here. OK, what what President Trump is going to do to the creature sitting behind the desk is blame him. It's Bidenomics. It's Bidenomics. No, it's the policies of the central banks. This thing, creature, vomitous mess sitting behind their, their resolute. This has no say so. The guy doesn't know which way is up or down. You understand? Uh, he, he, he can't walk and chew gum at the same time. We're supposed to believe it's his economic policies that have driven us here in the United States and the rest of the world into an economic freaking cesspool? No, it's the central banks. And until Trump comes out and tells everyone, okay, look, this is what's going on. But he can't do that because, again, it would set up a bad stage. He's already going to Wall Street, telling these corporations, don't worry, you, you think you're rich now? I'm going to make you much richer. And I'm going to give you a lot more easy money. So you have to understand, multinational corporations, the people that Trump is approaching right now, they count on a weak dollar. They don't want a strong dollar. A strong dollar is bad for these companies with international trade. So that means you are going to pay the price for that. And with more easy money, what's that going to do? Make the Federal Reserve even stronger. But you're not supposed to know that either. We're doomed. I Just so you know here, okay, we are, we are no matter who sits behind the resolute desk, we're just done. Uh, you may think that that's going to change the world. <gasps> no, it's not going to. More easy money, more inflation, more destruction, more death, more pain, and more suffering. That's where it's going. Nothing's going to stop this, okay? Just, just in case you're wondering, people. Anyway, where were we? So, look, I, I pretty much set the stage here for you. You know what's going on. No one knows more than you about the way the markets work, the freak show, what's going on. You know what I mean? Look, what we have here is, well, first of all, we've created – quite a family here and this worldwide thing it's worldwide I, I i and i love to be kind of the daddy over here believe me um and i think together collectively we are making a positive difference in the world because that's all that matters to me okay we got each other we're supporting each other uh we're looking out for each other that's it that's what we can do right now because we have no representation and we're not going to have any representation because the central banks are the government the whatever figurehead they want to put behind wherever they want to put it Lovely. Okay. Uh, sure, it's going to keep people in a constant state of hatred and division because that's what's meant to do. Okay. Because if we were, if we had a single individual to bring us all together, okay, then we would have the power. We, they cannot allow us to have the power. It must be right wing versus left wing. It must be red versus blue. Imagine if we had a person that could bring us all together. Imagine that. That would be unbelievable, but it can't ever be allowed to happen because this is how the few have controlled the many since the beginning of time, and it is not going to stop anytime soon. Okay, all oh, the hatred and the division that's going to go on and on and on and on and get actually monumentally worse because if we were allowed to come together, we could we could take this entire thing back, but you see. We can't allow that. They can't allow that to happen, unfortunately. Anyway, people, that's that's where we're at here. Now, before I let all of you go, I'm going drag racing later. Hopefully some of you will show up. I'll be at uh, Bradenton Moore Sports Park around 6 o'clock. Um, hoping to get into the, the low 830s today. I think, I think I ran an 834 quarter mile run. That was my best so far. We'll see if I can. I tweaked the car just a little bit, a little bit. Let's see. Actually, all I did was change my shift points. Um, let's see if that makes any difference here. No, Cynthia, I don't go that way. Uh, and, and if that was an invitation, uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't go that way. Well, Cynthia, I hope you're a woman. Anyway, uh, a drag racing show, not drag. I don't know where they've even got that whole thing from, but that's, that's, that's whatever it is. It's whatever it is. If you, if you can't show up there, I will be posting videos of those races tonight, on my Instagram link uh, in the description of this video. So go check that stuff out. I know you are kidding, Cynthia. I know. I know. Salente, Salente is a wise guy. You know, I love Gerald. And um, I know um, some of you don't like him. Believe me, I've heard from so many of you. And I get the reasons that you say. 
but he really does care about you. You have to. I talk to Gerald on a personal level, one to one, and he's the same guy. He look, he cares, and that's why he gets so bent out of shape. It's very look. Look at me. Sometimes my blood pressure goes so high, I think my head's gonna pop off. Um, but then I, I look back at this community and I say, you know what? We're good. We, we got each other, and 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 that's important. I think just think it's so uh, so important. Um. Anyway, people, before I let you go, is there anything specific you would like to oil oh, going to a thousand dollars a barrel? <laughs> I don't know about well, maybe eventually, but if that were to happen, you can imagine this the situation that we would be in at that point here. I wouldn't expect commodities, I mean anything is possible here. A thousand I guess in, in the in the realm of possibility, sure. Sure it is. I mean, it depends on where the currency goes. If the currency, these uh, crude oil is priced in dollars, if the, if the dollar were to go to zero, which is a theoretically possible, you do know that. You do realize that the dollar has lost about 98% of its purchasing power, right, since the creation of the Federal Reserve. Um, and they want that less. They're going to get it. They, you have to understand what central banks are doing. They are working very, very hard to suck out the very last bit of the purchasing power. That's why we're seeing all this inflation around here. You see, but Trump ain't going to tell you that because Trump's plan is very, very straightforward. It's very, very simple. Um, more easy money, a weaker dollar. Okay. He called for this during his tenure. Trump said, and don't take my word for this. Okay. Look it up for yourself. Let your fingers do the walking. He wanted a weaker dollar. Again, it helps out the multinational corporations. Henceforth, why he's going to Wall Street right now. He also called for negative rates. He said that, and it really should bother you because that means that you would have to pay the banks to keep your cash in these institutions. Um, that's insane. Uh, uh, and so you understand where these people stand. For those of you that are looking for, a, you know, uh, the, the second coming in in, in Donald Trump, uh, it ain't happening. Okay, uh, you you got you got to understand. And I, I, and it doesn't again. The, the current creature behind the resolute desk, this guy can't walk into him at the same time. He doesn't know who he is. I, I don't even think he knows his own name. But that's that's besides the point anyway. Um, is it time to buy Bitcoin? People, you know my take on Bitcoin and crypto. It, it just dropped. Is it going to drop further? Certainly may. But in the grand scheme of things, cryptocurrencies, it's, it's a place you need to ha- you need. People need to have some exposure to this stuff. I don't know another way to put it. I'm not telling anyone to go all in on anything. And, and again, please don't let me get in trouble, people. You know, I already got already got in trouble twice here. Um, and I'm not, I'm not looking forward to getting in trouble again. I got to be very careful with the things that I say. Um, I do believe people need some of this stuff in their portfolios, as well as loads of gold and loads of silver. Uh, exposure to the long end of the market, even with this drop today, this is normal. We've had a market that's hit like 25 record highs in the first three months of this year alone. Don't you think we sh- it needs a little bit of a pullback? And I'll tell you how this is going to work out because Neil Cash Carry, Cash and Carry Freak Show, and all these other things, they get this back and forth nonsense. That's all it is. Okay. The Fed must inflate, it's their power, it's how they gain strength here. All the nonsense that was going on during President Trump's tenure, it made me want to vomit. There was a couple of YouTubers out here with big, bigger followings than me telling people that Trump is trying to bankrupt the Federal Reserve. All he was in actuality doing was making the Federal Reserve stronger. When a central bank is called on to create more debt, to inflate, they get stronger, not weaker. It's their only product debt. The more debt they issue, the stronger they become. It's an insane thing that that was getting rolled out. It was all propaganda, obviously, and people bought it. A lot of people bought it. It's terrible. Hey, Johnny, how are you? It's all lies, exactly. Lies, deceptions, distractions. It's um, it's it's crazy. My top 10 crypto picks, I own a few of them. I own a couple of big ones as well and some of the small ones. But if you had to pick one, all right, look, one. One is going to be the, the mommy, the mommy of them all. Uh, and that would be Bitcoin, okay? I'm not saying it's the most undervalued or anything else, but it's the one everybody knows about, all right? Um, that's, that's, that's where I am here, people, honestly. Um, Anyway, that is, yes, JEPI, JEPQ, 100%. Uh, you know, those of you that are, that are invested in JEPI and JEPQ, you got your nice fat dividend today. You got your dividend, didn't you? Yeah. And if you were smart, you you reinvested that. 
Um, that's what I did today, as a matter of fact. Um, anyway, people, I think that's going to be it for today. Okay. And, uh, well, that's it. All right. We, we are going to part ways for a little bit. Hopefully I'll see some of you later. Invariably, a couple of you show up at these drag races and, and I love that. It'd be nice to see you and interact with you. But if, again, if you can't show up, that's fine. Those people everywhere, you can see these races live down uh, on my Instagram. Well, not live. I'll post them right after the race. Generally, as soon as they're posted, it's right after the race. So you'll get to see these things. Uh, the race is over here in Bradenton, Motor, Bradenton Motorsports Park. Uh, it's about, I could almost walk there. It's pretty cool. All right, people, look, I am out of here. This guy, Greg, loves you a lot from the heart. I will see all of you in the morning or maybe some of you later at the drag races. And uh, until we meet again, people, ponder these things that we've spoken about, okay? Knowledge is a great thing. Uh, in my view, and we're putting this all together. So with that said, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I will see you in the morning, all right? That's it.